y'all. Welcome back to another episode of my podcast, the B Channel Podcast, where my objective is to bless, edify, and encourage others to live their best lives. Now, before we dive into today's episode, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this podcast if it blesses you so you don't miss out on any future episodes. You can also catch up with me at B Channel 27 on all my social. I will include my links in the episode description. Now, before we get into this episode any further, I would like to let y'all know that, you know, I'm kind of on this journey, this evolution of what I am considering a quiet time read, you know? Um, Because sometimes you can get in this rut of just um, purely self-help and biblical adjacent content. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, there's Christian fiction out there as well. There are other things to read. And, you know, of course you want to watch what you're reading, you know. You don't want to read anything that's going to um, lead you astray or, you know, cause problems in your life. And, you know, but we definitely have to... um, learn to expand our our horizons sometimes as far as what we consider a quiet time read it doesn't necessarily have to be oh this is a devotional and this is all i can ever read in my quiet time because you know there are quiet times that you have that are you know specifically supposed to grow your intimacy with god but then there's also quiet times where you just want to read something that is uplifting or read something that's entertaining you know we're still human just because we believe in god it does not mean that we don't want to be entertained and we don't want to read something that is um fun as well so yeah keep that in mind as you go about deciding what you want to read in your quiet time you know um but you know before we get into this i got a question for y'all are you nourishing your soul you know that's something that we have to consider, especially in this day and age. And this book, or should I say these books, do just that. These books are called Feeding the Soul by Tabitha Brown and Seen, Loved, and Heard, which is an accompanying guided journal that just goes beautifully with this book. And I'll get more into that later. But first, I want to tell y'all a little bit about her. Who is Miss Tabitha Brown? She's an actress and vegan food star who has an who has affectionately become known as America's mom. She has provided millions with food for the body and soul through her videos capturing delicious home-cooked vegan recipes and everyday wisdom rooted in love, kindness, and compassion. Tabitha can be seen on her show All Love on the Ellen Digital Network and her recurring role on Showtime's The Shy and on Tab Time on YouTube Originals for Kids and Family. She was the recipient of the 2021 NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Social Media Personality. Born and raised in Eaton, North Carolina, she now lives in Los Angeles with her husband, three kids, and dog. So that's a little bit about her, y'all. Now let me tell y'all what I loved about this book. Right off the top, I can tell y'all that this book is straight up soul food, okay? It's encouraging, it's uplifting. There are moments that you'll tear up. There are moments when you'll cry and just uh, really, you know, go in. (laughs) <laughs> you know, have a whole ugly cry moment. And then there are moments that'll make you laugh out loud. And I love how every time I read a sentence, I couldn't help but hear what I was reading in her voice. It was that vivid of an experience to read this book. And let me just share with y'all, it's 30 chapters long, but they are short and to the point. I love also that there were TSAs at the end. Tabitha service announcements. That's pretty, that's, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it stands for. And um, they were at the end of each chapter. And every other chapter had recipes, vegan recipes that were at the end. And they were definitely interesting, you know? And sometimes I wonder, you know, is, is it, you know, 
my destiny to go vegan or at least eat a little bit less meat you know sometimes i do wonder about that so those recipes they definitely um gave me some insight to what that would look like and what i would have to substitute for things so um i just loved the stories that she shared you know they were so personal and just really rich and you can just imagine everything that she was saying because it was just she's just so good at telling stories and her philosophies on life really provide a lot of comfort that um you could hang on to so that you could endure some of the hard seasons in your life because they will come just because you love god does not mean that hard seasons are not happening for you you're not immune or exempt from hard season just because you love god as much as we would love that that's just not the case y'all so <laughs> there's your gentle reminder on that um it was just amazing it was a great read now as far as the journal is concerned it's broken into the same five sections as the book because the book is broken into five sections like each of the chapters is um contained within five five sections there's different uh, sections so you know that that's really um you know helpful to understand so you know that they go together and you can kind of harken back to what's happening in those sections of the book you know to understand and have more context for the questions that you're being asked in the journal and I love how in the journal, she weaved inspiration into the journal and gave context for the prompts that she was asking you. And the challenges that she has in the journal, they're very helpful. And I felt like they held me accountable, you know, because when somebody asks you to write something down for a week or 10 days, at first you kind of scoff a little bit about it. You're like, why do I have to do this? This is really going to matter. It's going to mean anything. But it helps you to be disciplined and really like be a woman of your word or a man of your word if you're listening hello fellas but um it really helps you to say oh well i wrote something down um you know the last couple of days so let me stick to what i said i was going to do so that's really you know taking to heart that whole idea of write the vision and make it plain because you know when you write things down, you are more likely to stick to it. You know, it's not foolproof, but it, it can help you to stick to your good habits better. And I like the questions a lot in the book because it made me dig deep and really consider some things that I may not have considered. So on that note, it was worth it to buy both of them and read both of them. And just, you know, I feel like the journal is something where you can take a couple of pages at a time because some of the pages are within the same theme. So you kind of don't want to stop in the middle because you want to kind of finish your your um, flow of consciousness, so to speak. Like you don't want to just uh, break, break in the middle of it, you know, when you're talking about a certain topic. So that's helpful to understand. And then as far as the book is concerned, I chose to take it one day at a time because it was something that I really wanted to savor. I didn't want to kind of rush through it, you know, and the journal, it was so funny because like with the journal, you just want to keep going. You really want to keep writing, like do, do like all of the pages, like as many pages as you can, but you kind of want to pace yourself there. But, you know, it's interesting because the book, I was like, oh no, let me slow down and really just, just take this all day because it's, it's different when you are consuming information versus you're producing thoughts from your brain and putting it on paper so it's it's kind of um a different pacing that you need for both of those things but it's helpful to definitely read the book and to do journals together um so you should read this book and use this journal if you're someone who kind of feels lost in your life you've lost your way maybe you don't have any boundaries in place maybe you uh have forgotten yourself and you kind of put yourself on a back burner in your own life um maybe you need help with re-establishing you know what self-care looks like to you 
those are all valid reasons for picking up this book and also this journal that goes with it um so if that's you consider this um and you can find both of these books on amazon i'm sure wherever else books are sold you can find miss tabitha on instagram at i am tabitha brown and she has a couple of other socials as well you can find her on tiktok at i am tabitha brown and facebook at actress tabitha brown and youtube at tabitha brown so that's just a little bit about how y'all can connect with her and also those tsas i was telling you about earlier in this episode she um has tsas on her her socials so it it's like you get to have a little bit more like the book is like kind of like the book continues you know in real time over the course of her life and when she when she um feels led by the holy spirit to speak on things she shares these videos and you know she says that's her greatest motivation to post the, the videos is she feels led and it's like it's going to bless somebody it's going to help somebody that's why she um posts the videos you know and speaks on things so powerfully the way that she does and i just love her vibe though it's like she's definitely that auntie that mama that you would listen to and it would calm you and give you a sense of of peace like everything gonna be all right you know uh she's one of those kind of those elders i think of in that way so definitely um go check out feeding the soul and seen love and heard by tabitha brown when y'all get a chance it'll definitely bless your life now before i get out of here i want to remind y'all that if this episode blessed y'all please leave a review on spotify um also you know give us a rating on spotify and subscribe please subscribe slash follow on google and spotify and all the other places where you can subscribe or follow um because i'm on iHeartRadio as well and amazon and apple so i really appreciate any and all follows and <laughs> subscription shares likes any feedback y'all can also dm me at b channel 27 on all my socials if y'all would like to get in contact with me and give me some great feedback about this show or any other books that i should be reading you know is it are there, are there any books that i should be reading is there anything that i'm missing out on that y'all want me to spill the tea on <laughs> you know in these book reading streets and you know um i'm also hoping to branch out into doing more of the interviews like y'all saw the last um several episodes i've done some um interviews on here with some friends so um thank y'all so much for tuning in and i hope that this blessed you and i will see y'all next time with more tea on a book that i am enjoying in my quiet time and peace and blessings y'all